Constant innovation in peace and war is central to military advantage. Nations engage in a continuous contest of innovation and counter-innovation in tactics, technology, doctrine, organization, and training. Disruptive innovations dramatically shift the character of warfare and require wholesale changes in how militaries fight. Throughout history, disruptive technologies such as the tank, airplane, satellites, and cyber weapons have often spurred change. History suggests that the winners during periods of disruptive change are not always those who develop the technology first or have the best technology, but those who uncover the best ways of using it. Today we are living in the midst of an information revolution that is changing warfare in profound ways. Cyber tools, disinformation, robotics, autonomous systems, and other information technologies create challenges and opportunities for NATO. Recent years have seen rapid advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Machines are now able to recognize images, understand human speech, translate languages, and play complex strategy games, in some cases better than humans. When people ask me what is AI, I like to decompose it into a stack of technologies. Uh, just like the internet stack is one technology built on another, so it's true with artificial intelligence. We begin at the bottom with perception, everything about getting data in, sensors and vision and other things like that. On top of that, you have the machine learning, which is usually built on top of massive compute infrastructure. You need the machine learning so that your robot or your platform has got something with which it can predict the results of its actions. The next layer of the stack is all about acting and the systems which plan to deal with uncertainty with adversaries in, and make those kind of strategic moves. And then on top of that, you finally have the layer of autonomy where you have machines actually driving themselves or you have machines giving advice to human decision makers. Artificial intelligence is an enabling technology like the internal combustion engine or electricity, with many applications. Artificial intelligence can help militaries analyze data, make better decisions, and power increasingly autonomous systems, both physical systems and in cyberspace. Given the vulnerabilities in current AI systems, NATO countries must invest in robust AI and set policy guidelines to ensure responsible use. Whenever you're in a situation where there's a doctrine or a set of rules of engagement, before you actually launch your AI system. You prove, you don't just guess, you prove that you're obeying those rules of engagement. There are many areas where we as a democratic society have not actually written down what we want the rules of the game to be. And we engineers, we're gonna keep on working, but we're desperate to have rules of engagement which make it clear what we can do. How do you act knowing that there's another AI on the other side which is also acting. You have to expect that people are trying to bluff or deceive you. 2017 was a breakthrough year because we reached superhuman performance in playing poker and other games of bluff and chance. This is now moving very rapidly into areas where in cyberspace or in physical space with poachers or in airport security you're using game theory to allocate your resources to uh, deal with the fact that your enemy is also reasoning against you. The Industrial Revolution not only created new tools of warfare, such as the machine gun and submarine, but also changed the balance of power between nations, and even the fundamental building blocks of power. Coal and steel producing nations became more powerful, and oil became a global strategic resource. Urbanization and industrialization affected domestic and international politics changing the motivations and context for war. The artificial intelligence revolution is causing similar changes in human society, economics, politics, and the metrics for power. I really believe that right now we do need Western democracies to get together to build advanced, useful technology out of artificial intelligence, inspire our populations, and actually save lives through it. Get students, startups, and citizenry excited about coming together to use this technology to save lives. The artificial intelligence revolution is already underway. NATO and alliance countries need to move quickly to keep the edge on their competitors. The volume and speed of information combined with artificial intelligence poses new challenges for policymakers and an increased speed of decision making. 
Policymakers must grapple with the ethical dilemmas posed by having to create rules for machines making decisions and craft new norms for safe and responsible use of AI. Technology opens possibilities, but people are the agents of change. Policies, education, and training are vital to creating a culture of innovation. Prototyping, experimentation, and wargaming are essential for unlocking the potential of new technologies. Given the rapid pace of change, NATO and Alliance countries must urgently seize the opportunities presented by artificial intelligence.